We have a unique take on the Hyperloop that uh, we think is going to be uh, more commercially viable for everyone and really increase regional mobility. Uh, you know, you talked earlier about uh, cities, uh, the most uh, business friendly cities. Well, regional mobility and unlocking uh, new opportunities to move around the region, that's what Arrivo is focused on. So how fast can you go? And is this the Hyperloop that we've talked about where it's the sort of wind sucking tunnels that trains and cars go through? What are you looking at? Yeah, so uh, our technology isn't speed limited, but uh, to be commercially viable, it kind of is speed limited. So uh, we're aiming for around 200 miles per hour. Uh, and no, it probably isn't the Hyperloop uh, that you thought of. You know, the original white paper uh, was a near vacuum tube with pods that had compressors on the front and run on air bearings. Uh, we're focused on, you know, really a high throughput system. So for us, the key is um, more vehicles uh, moving more miles in the region. Just to put a quick number to it, uh, an average freeway can move around 2,000 to 3,500 vehicles per lane per hour. With the lane of Arriva, we can move 20,000 vehicles per lane per hour. So you're really talking about unlocking a whole region's mobility. Wow, if people are willing to do it, I guess, if they're not too freaked out by it. Who's, who's funding this effort? Uh, you know, we're privately funded right now, and we're going to be going out for our Series A funding in the near term, and I'll be happy to talk about that when, when we get that. Brogan, how many people have to be willing to use this corridor, say, between Boulder and the airport, and how much do they have to be willing to pay for this to be financially viable long term? So just to put it in perspective, there's a current toll road that runs in the Denver region, the E-470. Uh, they're a partner with us on this study. Uh, and our pricing is, is the same as that E-470. So that's about you know, 5 or $10, depending on how far you go. So it's going to be you know, you know, very available for everyone to use. Uh, you know, I don't think we're going to have to encourage people to use it. I don't, I don't know too many people that want to spend more time in traffic. Uh, so if you can really think about getting to any part of the entire region in less than 20 minutes in a super smooth ride, uh, it sounds uh, pretty appetizing to most people. I'm from Denver and went to college in Boulder and I've driven uh, that, that road 36 many times. I mean, Denver's, I can see a lot of uh, things about the area that make it uh, attractive to make something like this. But what about weather? I mean, uh, the worst snow, seven feet of snow, uh, how much of this technology is vulnerable? Well, in fact, you know, while Revo is not in a vacuum tube, what we do do is put it in an enclosed environment. So there is an enclosure that keeps weather off it, uh, keeps wind shear off it, keeps tree branches and soda bottles off it. So that's one of the things that allows us this combination of, you know, high speed, 200 miles an hour and really high throughput. So, uh, you know, also want to point out that when you're in the system, uh, whether you're on your own car that you've driven onto a sleigh that moves in the system or whether you're on one of our super metro vehicles, it's going to be super smooth. It'll be as smooth as sitting in a chair because with our levitation technology, uh, we can actively ride smooth it. So it's literally going to be as smooth as sitting in a chair. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.